I am apprehensive of all things generative AI when it comes to social media and art. So when it was announced that Stacey was going to be releasing a song called GPT, I was preparing for the worst. The K-pop industry at large has taken quite a liberal approach to the use of generative AI in artwork. If you're a fan of K-pop, I probably don't have to tell you this. Most of the big K-pop groups today, especially out of SM Entertainment, have embraced AI in a lot of ways. I really hate it, personally. I'm not a huge fan of how it's been used with my favorite groups. I don't think the use of AI enhances any aspect of a project's release, but instead, like Red Velvet's cosmic concept photo shoots, I think the AI used to make the background of these concept photos only takes away from the end product that it's a part of. I don't appreciate the fact that these backgrounds were generated, even if it was at the hands of what can be called an AI artist. Stacy, with the release of GPT, however, has taken quite a tasteful and profound approach to the idea behind generative content. To my knowledge, this comeback doesn't incorporate the use of generative AI at all. I could be wrong about that, but I went looking and I've seen no AI artist or AI aspect credited in the production of this project. Instead, the nature of what GPT is, is used as a narrative concept in this Stacy project. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is artificial intelligence that learns and trains using existing data to produce content content, ideas, and answers that are in likeness to what humans create. Obviously, the most famous example of this is ChatGBT. It's an AI chatbot that can answer quite complex questions, translate languages with consideration of cultural understanding and nuance. It is very impressive in what it does and very helpful for a lot of people, but as it is generative, does exist in the bad territory of AI that people have been talking about in the past couple of years in regards to society and, of course, the environment. So. Why is this Stacy song called GPT? The song develops a pretty unique narrative. Stacy, as the narrator in this song, feel as though they're at a crossroads with the love interest in this story. Lyrics such as, I wanna know who you are. I can't fall asleep until the morning. By any chance, do you mind? Worried we'll get awkward. Thinking of pretending not to, there's an issue. Can't hide it, why should I miss you? There's just some things that the narrator doesn't know about the person she likes who is unresponsive in a lot of ways, and yet is dying for answers. Something about this relationship is not working, and yet the narrator is at a point where she can't express what that is without fear of causing the relationship to fail or crash. Lyrics such as what we see in the bridge, don't hide your feelings, every day I'm waiting for, what's in your heart, I can't wait, don't hide your feelings. Build us up to the leading sentiment in the chorus, Stacy decides or wants to call this unresponsive love interest GPT. In an ideal situation, the love interest would behave like GPT and just have all the answers and be ready to present them in human-like and compassionate ways as soon as the narrator asks them. It's either that or Stacy is calling the love interest GPT as a way to express that she wants this person to be honest with her in a way that it seems as though they can't. Stacy dwells on wanting to know about the love interest feelings, which an AI chatbot wouldn't be able to provide in a meaningful way. In this way, the love interest already acts like a chatbot, tells Stacy everything that they want to hear, but there's some areas that a chatbot isn't able to go to in conversation such as complex and personal feelings and relationships. Stacy would be discouraging this person from behaving like a chatbot and instead encouraging them to be completely honest about how they feel. I love this concept so much. I know there's a conversation to be had about the mentioning of generative AI in any capacity, but we really can't ignore at this point how the use of ChatGPT has taken over the world and academic and workplace environments for quite a while. Assuming their start to a young culture concept, this song and its message is genuinely perfect in my eyes. I love so much K-pop songs that represent culture in unique and profound ways. GPT reminds me a lot of Likey by Twice. Both songs work to catalog the experiences, thoughts, and feelings of a young person growing up and their relationship to society, culture, and technology. For twice at the time in 2017, they were reconciling with the struggles of love in the backdrop of social media. Lyrics such as, like is such a common word, not enough to describe my feelings, which is very simple in sentiment, also carries such a profound meaning for the people who can relate to growing up with social media. It is very hard to express yourself online, and Likey works to outline that. And what I love about songs like Likey and GPT the most is that they do it in a way that ensures the people who can relate to it don't feel shame about it. They acknowledge that these feelings are valid and that it's something many people go through when interacting with people and technology. Now with GBT, Stacy represents a culture who is growing up with the use of technology like generative AI, and for better or for worse, it is the reality that we live in. I really appreciate that, again, to my knowledge, this comeback doesn't incorporate the use of generative AI to produce any part of it. With a concept like GBT, and given what we know of the K-pop industry, it would have been so easy to do. And so the fact that they just talk about it lyrically makes it all the more meaningful in my opinion. 
opinion. Stacy even narratively presents that while the love interest being as open and considerate as an AI chatbot is capable of, there are many, many pitfalls to that being the actual reality. This release works as a kind of commentary against the use of generative AI in this regard. The music video completes the concept, showing Stacy in a dystopian world where the love interest is functioning like an AI chatbot. It is shown and represented as almost lifeless to us in a lot of ways because it is. Communication between humans and all the troubles that come with it is one of the most human things that can be experienced. Removing that altogether for an individual who will tell you everything you want to hear and can even predict your feelings creates a sense of dystopia. It's not as ideal in reality as it may sound in our heads. When you take out the need for communication, things run stagnant pretty quickly as you come to realize that communication is what makes relationships what they are. Jay comes to recognize this in the music video, electing to destroy the GPT device in the end and literally running away to go touch grass. By the end, the narrator comes to appreciate the frustrations and complexities that come with communication between humans. It is what makes us human, after all. And working to negate that in any way makes the relationships that people have with one another kind of meaningless. If the person you're interacting with has all the answers for you and always works to consider you above all else, you're not really interacting with a human anymore. Again, I love this project so much. For all the reservations I had going into this about the use of generative AI, Stacy has really surprised me. They've really outdone themselves and presented one of the most meaningful contributions to the K-pop industry in quite a while. This is Stacy at their prime, in my opinion, and the song itself exists in that elusive third dimension of their group identity that Stereotype does. It's an easy to listen to song that also doesn't lend itself completely to what's popular in the industry. There's a lot of sonic elements that make it characteristically Stacy in all their quirkiness. GPT ends up being a lot more laid back than you may expect on the first listen, again, a lot like stereotype, but the EDM elements carry it through all the way to the end in a way that I think does it justice. It's a simple love song that has the potential to be gleaned for more complex meaning and understanding. Yeah, okay, I feel like I've said enough. I really, really like this release. The song quality is there, the concept is there, the song is over three minutes long. This is K-pop to me. 10 out of 10, no notes, Stacy represents the best that K-pop has to offer. I rest my case. Thank you for watching this. If you did, let me know what you think about GPT, the generative AI narrative and concept, if you have any other ideas about it, and so on. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time.